In this compass construction, we're going to make a parallelogram, or construct a parallelogram, with compass and straight edge, like this one up here, EFGH, where we have two pairs of opposite sides that are congruent. So this is going to model our theorem 8-7. So well, let's get to it with our two given sides, the red and the blue. Start by taking our compass. Let's pick up put the needle on this vertex right there. And we're going to need to you know, spread this compass out so that we can represent this arc right here, or this length. Um, I always want to get a nice swing on it, make sure it's uh, right there. That's going through the point. So I've got that. Let me pick up my compass, and I'm going to put the needle on this vertex, the H right there and swing this arc and you see what we're doing is we're transferring the distance this red arc represents that red distance EF okay now well, let's make some room on this on this diagram here and um, well now we're going to pick up resize our compass I'm going to use a, well, a different one over here so it's in blue I put the blue needle right there, the needle, the compass on the E, the same vertex. And then I'm going to swing the arc here through H. Ah, it's just set just right. So I'm going to then pick up that needle, the locking compass, and put that needle on the F. And when I swing that arc, you can see what's happening. That's going to give me a point of intersection. Now this point of intersection, well, of course that's going to be special because that's going to be our point G. So mark very carefully your point G. Take out your straight edge. You can use this side or this side, either, you know, either one of them. And, um, well, let's see, we're going to mark out um, from here. Snap it right there. That's good. And we're going to have to spin our straight edge and see if we can line up the other two. Now, if you were just drawing this, you would have lined this up as good as you could to parallel, and you just slide it on your paper. But this is a construction. We line it up as best as we can, and then we're going to connect here to here, and there you go. You've got parallelogram, EFGH, which was constructed very easily with, well, just four compass swings.